All right, so it says adult men have heights with a mean of 69 inches and a standard deviation of 2.8 inches. Find the height of a man with a Z-score of 2. What's a Z-score? I don't know. Z-score is, they're so important. A Z-score is how many standard deviations you are away from a standardized mean of 0. So what you have to do is you have to standardize your variables. And it's actually very, it's a very easy formula of Z equals a particular value of X minus my mean over my standard deviation. And that's it. So I could sit here and do the algebra. It says that um, the Z score is 2. I want to find X. That's what it's asking me to find, the height of the man with 69 inches over 2.8. All right, now hopefully you kind of remember kind of sort of your wonderful algebra days and that you could take this and you can move this over there and you pick your calculator up and cheat and say 2 times 2.8 and you get 5.6 equals x minus 69 and then you add 69 both sides and you pick your calculator up because you're not, you know, you just want to make sure, right, to get that 74.6 is my value of X. And so I can go up here and I can put in 74.6 and hopefully I got the answer right, which I did. So this is a key formula. You, you got it. You got that right there. That's a key formula. Now, me... So they're going to give me another problem, or let's pretend that I got this wrong. Not that I'd ever get the problem wrong, right? I only did this video like five times till I got it right. I'm just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha. So what I, what I would like to do is actually create in my spreadsheet where I would be able to just reuse this for more than one problem. So I already know that there's a Z. I know there's an X. There's a mean and a standard deviation. Now, as you could probably get, as you could probably guess, there's going to be any of these variables you can solve for. I know this setup is going to be solving for my X, so I'm just gonna highlight that cell. That's all I did was just highlight that cell because I know this will solve for, for X. So I was given a mean of 69.0, standard deviation of 2.8 inches. Well, let's go back over here and look. What were the steps algebraically to find, oops, I'm sorry. Let me go put my, put my Z in. I forgot, why'd you let me forget my Z? So my Z was what, two. Two standard deviations away from the standardized mean. All right, so back here, think of the algebra steps that you did. You took Z, multiplied by the standard deviation, and then added the mean. Well, I can do that over here to find X. I'm going to take Z times my standard deviation. Notice how I'm referencing the cells. You'll know, see why. And then add my mean. And I hit enter, and I get the 74.6. Why do you care? reusability. So let's say, I want to try another one of these to see if my formula works. So it looks like 69, 2.8, but now the Z score has changed to negative 0.3. Watchy, 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 looky. <gasps> Look what you look at there. So if, if you set these up, I mean, it's kind of nice because now I have a formula in my formula sheet that will actually solve for X. So let's see what else is in some of these here. A normal distribution has a mean of 115, a standard deep. Find the Z score. Hey, so why, why wouldn't I now, let's make me another formula sheet here, and let's highlight this one because I'm going to be looking for Z scores. My X data value. I can't see, I can't read all that. Get over here. All right, so my data value is 112. The mean is 115. And the standard deviation is 5. All right, remember what the formula looked like? This one's a little easier. You just follow the formula. Now, 
Remember you want to um, subtract the numerator first, so we're going to put that in parentheses. So to find z, I would do equal x minus the mean, close parentheses, divided by the standard deviation. And it says around the two decimal places, so I can put negative 0 0.60. And look at look at what you look at there, and I can do another one because if you don't, you're not a believer, right? So let's see. Normal distribution has a mean of 90, standard deviation of 7. My x value is 115. I get 3.57. Bam! That is the whole big shabam, right? Uh, is Shabam a word? But that's the big deal of using spreadsheets is reusability. Otherwise, if you're just typing in numbers, why not do it on a calculator? You're wasting your time. So what I would continue to do is go through these problems and see what they're asking me to find. Okay, so here's another one with a z-score. Adult men have heights of six, uh, mean of 69 inches with a standard deviation of 2.8, find the z-score of 71.7, 0 0.96, if I round, oops, if I rounded that right. So what's nice is now I can just continue to go through these problems, and I have my little spreadsheet over here, but I highlight what I'm solving for so it reminds me which one to use.